I think Bitcoin's about to get its final bull trap. You know, we're being told, oh, this, uh, this is all bear traps, bear traps. And again, uh, the people that are telling us uh, that Bitcoin was going to keep going, and yet we've seen this distribution with Bitcoin over and over with the rallies. I think we're going to get one more, and then I think you're going to get the final uh, distribution phase that will usher in uh, the bearish phase, the bear market for Bitcoin to resume. Uh, but uh, again, I think you're going to form these divergences on my oscillators. Uh, I think it's going to happen. And again, similar to these other divergences uh, that have formed, I've talked about this with the RSI. I've talked about it with my momentum oscillators here. Uh, we've seen it at many, many of these peaks over and over again. I think you're going to have it happen uh, again. So that's what I think is going to happen. We're about to get a bull trap. I think this is the start of it. Uh, that will be the final Bitcoin's final bull trap for up to October. Sucking everybody in. Here we go. Here we go. And I think that's going to happen next week. And I think Bitcoin will likely top out next week or shortly thereafter, uh, probably by the 15th, before the 15th, the next week or uh, the few days that follow in the following week. But by, again, early to mid-October, I think this is going to be done. And it very well, Bitcoin, very well, the final rally, the final countdown uh, could be here by next week. At the peak up here, I warned you about these divergences on the MACD and the RSI in the four-hour time frame. Uh, told you again, other warning signs that we we're going to get some kind of pullback. That was correct. We pulled back to here in the four-hour time frame, the 200 period moving average. These divergences played out. Now, again, it may be we try to take this level out and, and back test the trend line or, or get something before we try to get a bigger pop. So again, um, tell you what I think about the, that I think we get a rally higher. I could be wrong if a divergence develops, but my guess is that we're going to come back up here and we're going to end up forming another divergence or maybe a brand new fresh divergence. I told you over here, we had this divergence. We turned down, we turned back up, we formed another divergence. We turned down, we turned back up, and we formed a larger divergence. We could see something like that or brand new divergence begin to develop. If I'm wrong about the rally right now, we pull back further and we form a bullish divergence, and then we get a rally. My guess is we're going to have a rally next week, okay? And I think we're going to go towards 68 or 69,000. Bitcoin's going to top, and I think that's going to be the that's going to be it, and then we're going to go down. But again, want to tell you um, other scenarios that could happen because I don't know the future. I'm just telling you what I think. Keep that in mind. But again, we've reached extremes here. We don't have to form a divergence right here. We reached an extreme. We didn't form a divergence. Other times we do. Uh, so again, I think we're going to end up forming a larger negative divergence in all likelihood. Uh, and I think we're going to go up towards 68,000, 69,000. And then I think that's going to be it. And I think that's going to happen next week. Green parameter still in positive territory. The 50 still above the 200. If we can bounce off the 200, get back above the 50, back above the cloud, then you can either make a brand new fresh divergence or build upon this one. Uh, if the print parameter starts going negative here and we start losing the 200, blank line right here, and we start seeing the 50 drop below it, uh, then all bets are off. Uh, then I could be wrong about Bitcoin going and making a high. My signals on the S&P and NASDAQ turn back to bullish as I've been predicting uh, that we would rally with the jobs report. They turn back to bullish. On Friday, Bitcoin rallied on Friday with the jobs report. I think we're going to continue that rally into next week, but then I think we're going to see signals uh, begin to peak out. This NASDAQ fills a gap at 20,400. I think Bitcoin will top out. Bitcoin may top out before the S&P and NASDAQ. It may uh, be that uh, they top out and Bitcoin falls them or vice versa. They have a positive correlation with one another. So again, these signals are still hanging in there, but we've uh, lost momentum in that we've dropped below our 50 period moving average. We'll be watching. Please support the channel with a link directly below that allows me to be able to provide you this information. If you like the charts, you like the indicators, please let me know that by supporting the channel. I have no sponsors. I don't want to, uh, you know, try to get you to join exchanges that want to get you leveraged up to get you wiped out. Uh, I don't want to sell you a bunch of junk. So I just ask that you support the channel. It takes a lot of time and effort to do that. If you like the signals, please let me know that by supporting the channel today. Look. Uh, I've warned you that we were getting some topping signals for momentum. They have now played out. I think we're going to get a rebound, but signals momentum here is still bearish at this point. I bring it up close here. You can see again, we had this topping signal. We got the pullback. The signals reverted back to bullish. It didn't change the trend signals. 
Uh, we got the gray shaded area telling us, hey, thing was about to happen. And again, the green uh, played out here in that uh, the bars reflecting momentum. The momentum line remained blue, turned back to red, but it started getting more warning signs with the topping signal here. Right here, the red uh, circle and this er red arrow, we started to see that, and that flip momentum. Momentum is still bearish here, the momentum line. Uh, bars are still red, so we'll see if we can get a bigger rally. The cloud turned to red, but other signals uh, are still bearish. The background is still, or still bullish, I should say. The background is still bullish. But you can see, again, we have warning signs. We have uh, momentum turning bearish, and we, we saw the balance of power go into, into uh, negative territory down over here so again my guess is we're going to bounce but if we start seeing more and more things turn bearish we also got this little uh, bottoming signal now when I did my last video uh, it was right here and it, it we sold, ended up selling off so it got canceled out and now we have it again so it showed up here the next day and uh, so again it's likely we have a short-term bottom there like I told you about over here and then we actually had this bottoming signal here uh, and again, uh, we have the little B right here for the bottoming signal here. Uh, they've done a good job of marking tops and bottoms, but it's just short-term momentum. That's what it is. So it's telling us, hey, you're going to get a bounce here. Now, whether that is a counter trend or whether we can resume the advance and go up towards the trend line, or if the bulls can flip it around and get us above 69,000 and start breaking all the resistance levels, we'll see about it because recession is coming. So I think Bitcoin has is in a topping process and I think it's already peaked. So right now things are bearish. We'll see if we can build upon it. My guess is the cloud is going to end up flipping back to bullish. We'll get back above the black line, the 200. I think you come up here, you get a diversions, and then I think you sink. You reverse. So my guess is this signal is going to be correct again and give us a bigger rally to 68 or 69,000. Here I have the bars reflecting the trend and they're bearish as well at this point. Uh, but again, the background is still uh, green. We now have this possible bottoming signal here uh, for the short term. Now again, it could just be a counter trend like right over here or it could establish a, a major bottom for a larger counter trend swing up move times major bottoms here uh, again you're probably going to get a bigger rebound but we've seen the diversions play out again the warning signs and we saw now momentum go negative but it's turning back up so i think you're going to form a uh, 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 triple diversions here i think you're going to form diversions on things like the rsi and maybe the macd and other indicators the ribbon is still bullish the background is still bullish Notice right here, this uh, line right here, it represents uh, the short-term move, term trend, and it's still bullish and it's still pointing up. We're trying to bounce off of it. We had bounced off the 100 period and the 50 period moving average, dipping below them, getting back above them. So again, I think you're going to get a bigger rebound back up into this level here. Uh, the impulse line, uh, which is, and if I bring it up close, you can see it, uh, with this little line right here. Uh, it's looking at momentum. It will likely turn before the momentum line. It usually does. It did turn here uh, before the uh, momentum line turned. But uh, again, it's looking at short-term momentum. I think it's going to end up turning back up and you're going to come up here and form a diversions. And then I think uh, we'll come up here and uh, see full diversions on momentum indicators. And I think the RSI will get that negative diversions as we've seen at other peaks. If you watch the video all the way through, you will see. Now, back up at this peak, I told you we were getting warning signs that Bitcoin was going to uh, get some kind of sell-off, some pullback, possibly a reversal. But I told you, I still thought we would reach this 68, 69,000 area. We came up here uh, and, and uh, just short of that level, and we began to pull back. And the signals were correct. They said that something was going to happen. We saw momentum turn, uh, and we came back, and I... Told you, I thought we were going to bounce off the 100 period and the 50 period moving average. I told you, we could still go, and it's still possible we go down and back test these trend lines or so uh, a little bit uh, deeper. But I told you, I still believe we're going to form a divergence here uh, and go up into this trend line or maybe even overthrow it and hit the 69,000 area. But I think you got to hit 68, 69,000 or so. Uh, and slam up into this level and form a diversions with this peak. And then I think you're going to get a much bigger sell off uh, as we start to see the stock market, uh, which I think is going to rise to a new high on the S&P. I think NASDAQ will fill the gap. I think that'll allow Bitcoin to get one more push higher. The S&P will diverge from Bitcoin, as I've been talking about. 
And we also warned you about the diversions here. Do you see the diversions on my momentum indicators? I warned you about that diversions and we had the little uh, warning signals of a short term top. But like I said, I still think and I could be wrong about moving up here. But my guess is that it's going to be that that we're going to get the rally back up. We're going to move above this peak probably and suck everybody in. Here we go. Here we go. And then the big rug pull is going to happen. You're going to come back down and eventually I think take out Bitcoin's average price, take out the support zone with this low here and this low here, 49,000, uh, this uh, 52,000 area or so. So that's what I think is going to happen. But like I said, I still think we're going to 68 or 69,000. I could be wrong on that, but I have the guts to tell you exactly what I think. Again, you know that I believe in the 100 period moving average. Bitcoin is trying to bounce off the 100. It dropped down here. I told you to be watching to see if we bounce off the, the 50, the 100. And then I think we're going to form this divergence. I think we'll end up recycling back up in all likelihood. It could be we go down further and then try it. But my guess is we're going to try to come back up here. I think that will be with, uh, you know, the stock market, the momentum turned back to bullish on Friday. I've been pre I predicted that we would get a rally. Also, I talked about this with Bitcoin in my last update, that we would get a rally with the uh, the jobs report. I, to I told you we're overdue for uh, the revisions or for the previous month to be revised back up, even though we're getting fake numbers out of the Labor Department. I told you we're right before an election. So I told you I thought it would be good and I thought the market could bottom and bounce with it, which exactly what happened. I told you that could be very well the case with Bitcoin, which is exactly what happened on Friday. So again, I continue to believe that momentum is likely to continue. And I think we'll see another reference point of a diversions with momentum indicators. Uh, I think we'll, it, we didn't set up a diversions on the RSI. I think we will, uh, you know, maybe the MACD and some other uh, signals. So again, this trend line is where I believe that we are headed. I do believe that Bitcoin is topped back over here in March, as I've said over and over. You know what has to happen for the bulls to take, retake control. We've got a clear 69,000 up here. Uh, we've got to clear 69,000. We've had eight failed attempts to get above it. You got to clear this downward trend line. You got to make a new high and then you got to not drop back below 69,000 again. And you got to manage to be able to dodge a recession. That's highly unlikely. We have recession indicators. And again, this jobs report, oh, the, the, the narrative is jobs report. It proves we're going to have this soft landing out of the, the job re jobs report is a bunch of fake numbers. We know that because we know if you videos, you know, I've talked about the jobs report in my on my stock channel, some P and NASDAQ. And you know that I've shown we had 818,000 from March of 2023 to March of 2024. And since March of 2024, we've had a bunch more revisions downward. We get a fake number. They revise it downward. And again, who believes this number that we got? Well, I guess a lot of people do because people are coming out and saying, oh, this proves it. This proves where the economy is going to have a soft landing. And again, people drinking, you know, the Kool-Aid, it's nothing more than propaganda. The numbers will eventually be revised down eventually. Uh, and, and the unemployment rate is already predicting we're going to have a recession. We've already triggered the SOM rule. The three month moving average has moved uh, over half a percent above its low from the previous 12 months, predicting that we're about to have a recession in the next three to six months or so. This whole thing that the jobs report is now going to, uh, you know, we're in this soft landing and, and we're going to have this big bull market. Uh, it's a bunch of propaganda. You know what has to happen for the bulls to take control. And they have not been able to do it. If they do it, then that's going to be bullish. And my weekly signals will turn back to bullish. That has not been the case. Right now, bears are still in control in the weekly time frame. Unless that changes, the bears will remain in control. The bulls have to be able to do a knockout punch to the bears, and they have not been able to do it. Now, again, I told you back over here that Bitcoin was bottoming. I told you it might pull back. It might not. It didn't. Uh, and then I told you that right here, uh, head of the Fed there, that we were going to eventually break above this level and this trend line, including the shadow. I have both of them marked here. And again, we did that with the Fed. The NASDAQ followed. They both broke their downward trend lines. I told you, again, we're likely headed up to 68,000. Over here, I told you, likely I have a short-term top based on the divergences that had formed and the topping signals that I had, which were correct, giving us a pullback. I think we're going to bounce off the 100 and the 50 here. Come up here. Everybody's going to go, here we go, here we go. And then you're going to get this big reversal. Uh, again, uh, we've had uh, some things that, 
watching that could have uh, impacted Bitcoin and the stock market. Uh, we had the uh, uh, the port worker strike that has now been uh, resolved for the short term. It could uh, resume in, uh, January 15th, but they did resolve the wage issue of it. There's other things that they're still hammering out, but they uh, that's been uh, all for the moment. So that's no longer an issue. Uh, tensions in the Middle East. Israel is getting ready to strike Iran. Could impact oil prices. That could rattle markets. Now, again, these geopolitical issues, sometimes they uh, have short-term knee-jerk reactions. Other times, markets ignore them. Uh, other times, the markets uh, react um, in a very negative way to them. Uh, which this will be, I don't know. But again, the, the risk is this has the potential to really rattle markets because of the risk of being a regional war of it escalating into a regional war. Israel's fighting um, um, Iran proxy groups on seven different fronts right now here. So it is likely that they are going to strike uh, probably here uh, at some point next week, shortly thereafter, but it could very well could be uh, anywhere October 7th on. Don't do it next week. It could just be after October 11th and 12th there with Yom Kippur. See what happens. Maybe they wait till that long. I don't know that they wait that long. But again, that could be a catalyst that rattles Bitcoin, rattles the stock market. And again, uh, we simply don't know the extent of, of uh, how much markets could be rattled by that. And again, will it be just a knee-jerk reaction? Will it be short-term? Will it be uh, rattle markets for a little while? We just don't know. You are also moving into the presidential election. Uh, usually ahead of the presidential election, there is volatility. Uh, I think you'll see that again, but I do think that uh, Bitcoin could rally higher. I do think that is possible uh, unless we start seeing more and more evidence that that won't be the case. That is what I think is likely going to be the case. Uh, and then I think it's going to top out and turn. Now, again, that narrative uh, is not what everybody thinks. Everybody is of the opinion we're going to have October. It's going to be shocktober because I think they're going to be in shock. Uh, and when they see what really happens by the end of October, uh, then we're going to have, you know, we're being told the fourth quarter, October, November, December, oh, it's going to be grand. This is the same thing that they said in 2021. And we ended up peaking in November of 2021. And it was followed by a crash in the following weeks of 52% for Bitcoin. Nobody thought that was going to happen. When I called the top, 2021, and here it is. Again, we ended up forming these diversions at the top and everybody said oh the fourth quarter was going to be great and we were going to be at a hundred thousand by the end you know by december of 2021 and again we peaked and by december again we had already started cash move of 50 percent by the time we started uh the new year just after the new year started in 2022 uh bitcoin had lost uh half over half of its value it lost 52 percent rallied up to the 200 we had the death cross it could not make it back above the 200 same thing here we we the 200 back below it but i think you're going to see something uh, like this like this divergence that developed here i think we're going to push back up but oh, just slightly above this area right here and i think you're going to form a top and again nobody thought that was even possible nobody thought that would happen we were told that we'd never drop below 60,000 again and here we dropped all the way down uh you know towards the low 30,000 area Point uh, went from 69,000 to over half of its value. Same stuff was said back there that's being said right now. About right now is that we're about to have a recession and that's going to be priced into Bitcoin. That's going to be priced into the stock market. The opinion that Bitcoin will get back above the 200 in all likelihood to form a divergence here. And again, we had uh, the, the rally on Friday. Uh, we had a couple of dojis there at the 50 and the 100. We had this 2.20% uh, rally right now. We're down 0.32% here uh, as we are in the last uh, five hours of trading for the Saturday session. So uh, again, we're still below the 10 and the 20. The 10 is a red, the 20 is a blue. We drop back below the 200. Uh, my guess is we're gonna try to get back above there or again, come down a little further and get back above there. But again, uh, the NASDAQ and S&P turned back to bullish. Bitcoin rallied with the jobs report along with the stock market. I think that rally will continue a few more days. Uh, and then I think you get this diversions and I think that'll be it. And again, it might be below 68,000. 
I told you 68, 69,000 if we overthrow this level. But again, the longer we take to get to it, the angle of descent, it drops. And right now it's uh, just under 68,000 right here. We're right around 68,000 if, uh, if we hit it, uh, I guess, right there at, at, at the 68,000 area. Or just maybe slightly under it if we if we take a, a little bit longer but i think that again next week we could rally up here and uh, again uh, form that diversion now i the reason why i think that is that we've now this is the uh rsi up here and again one reason why i think bitcoin is going to go make a new high is because again we at all these other peaks we had divergences form we don't have to have that happen here but I think it's probably going to be the case, and I think we're going to rally up to this upper boundary, form the diversions with the S&P. I think the S&P will end up making another new high, and you'll diverge with it. And then I think the S&P will peak. NASDAQ will fill the gap at 20,400. If you want to see what I'm talking about, watch the video linked at the end of this one uh, for the S&P 500 and uh, the NASDAQ, and you'll see what I'm talking about, the NASDAQ filling the gap video on the stock market. So I'll link that at the end of this video. I think you're going to form this diversion here. So again, I'm telling you what I think. I could be wrong. We've broken the trend line right here. I've talked about all these trend lines. I think we're going to get something like what we had right here, where we broke the trend line, but then we went back up and we made a higher high. Here, we broke this trend line, this accelerated trend line right here, and we went back up and we made a higher high. I think you're going to see something like that and something like that there. Uh, even here, even here, if we take this trend line right here and here, it's an accelerated trend line. We broke it, we went up, and we made a new high. So again, in each one of those cases, I think that's going to be the case. Uh, and I think you're probably going to do that. Could I be wrong about that? Yeah, we don't have to make a diversions. If we start seeing more and more signals from bearish, you can't get back above the cloud here, you can't get back above the 200, then I could be wrong. But the market is designed to do as much damage to the bulls and bears alike. Again, I told you over here, we're going to get a short covering. I told you my signals were turning back to bullish down over here. Thing over here, when we when we were reaching this level in the 50-week moving average. And then I told you, again, hold up the 78.6 Fibonacci rug pull. Okay, this rally rug pull. You keep seeing distribution, 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 distribution. And I think you're going to rally up here and then you're going to get distribution away this time. Uh, this will lead to a reversal. If you lose Bitcoin's average price, if you lose the 50 week moving average, it's over for Bitcoin. It's the final nail in the coffin. The bulls have their work cut out for them if they're going to turn it around uh, for the so-called October. And again, just like in 2021 in the fourth quarter, Nobody, everybody was saying how bullish the fourth quarter is going to be and uh, a Bitcoin reversed and started to crash in the fourth quarter. By the time we reached uh, the beginning of the new year, Bitcoin had lost 52%. So I think you're going to see something similar to that. Uh, nobody thinks that's possible. So watch for this diversions right here. My guess is that will be the case. And then I think everybody's going, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. And then boom, it's going to hit. And again, I think that that uh, will likely take place next week. I think Bitcoin will have further upside in all likelihood. If I'm wrong, again, a little bit of a pullback more and then do it. But I think that uh, I think we've uh, hit a rock bottom here at the 50 and the 100. And I think you're going to see Bitcoin rally up to the 68,000, 69,000 area. Just under 68,000 if we take our time. But I think you're going to see this next week. Um, and I think you're going to get your rug pull and I think Bitcoin's going to turn. Trend lines have been pretty amazing. Again, I talked about this trend line bouncing off this lower blue trend line right here. Uh, and again, I talked about coming down and finding support here. We did. Talked about this trend line here. We violated it, but we closed back above it. So again, these trend lines have been pretty absolutely uh, amazing. So I think we're headed back to this trend line here to form the diversions. And I think we'll be done. Yes, is that's going to be in all likelihood the next week and a half, but more likely by uh, sometime next week. I think we'll uh, see that. I've been warning you over and over again that Bitcoin is undergoing distribution. Again, we continue to see the distribution signs at these peaks over and over. I'm sure we're going to see one here very soon. Uh, we saw the accumulation down at these lows right here. But this is telling us Bitcoin's undergoing distribution, just like it did back up at the the the, the peak in uh, late 2021. There, Bitcoin is eventually going to come back down and take out this trend line. Uh, as I talked about, this is a Bitcoin weekly chart.